Hey guys, Bumper Game Bat today bringing our video, and today we're covering the AKS 74UM as part of our weapon conversion series. So we'll go ahead and jump into this. This is going to be the modernized version of the AKS 74U. So we'll go ahead and build this thing up. We have some modernized, beautiful modernized attachments, a couple different options here for builds you can do. Show it off in the firing range, the recoil control, and then jump into the gameplay while we go over some brief history of the weapon in real life. So let's go ahead and back out. And this is one of our final designs here for the AKS 74UM. So we'll go ahead and back out and build this thing up from scratch. So first off, you're obviously going to want the cast off 74U. Now as part of the weapon tree, you need to level up the cast off 762, then the cast off 545, and then you unlock the cast off 74U or the AKS 74U. So we'll go ahead, select this one. Now at base, it is obviously our original the AKS 74U that we know and love and interestingly enough finally this thing is part of the assault rifle category this is an assault rifle just a carbine version so it's a short compact version uh, of the AKS 74 firing the 545 by 39 millimeter cartridge so this is a, is a rifle caliber weapon not a submachine gun so I'm glad they finally put it in the assault rifle category here um, in modern warfare too so first off to build this thing up to the M version with modernized Zeneco attachments, we're going to want the barrel option. So the first option here, we do have some really nice options here. You can't really go wrong with any of these, it, depending on which ones you want. Uh, for me personally, with this one, we're going to go with this this uh, Zeneco handguard here with the key mod. This is going to be the short tack 330 millimeter. Going to give us the recoil control, hip fire control, or the hip recoil control, excuse me, bullet velocity as pros, and the cons being movement speed, damage range, hip fire accuracy and the aim down sight speed so we'll go ahead and select that next up for the muzzle device a couple different options here in the gameplay you'll see me using the russian pbs4 suppressor here so this is going to give us the sound suppression bullet velocity recoil smoothness and the recoil control with the cons being ads speed um, the aiming stability aim walking speed and damage at range so you can see how that looks on there um, and I'll show you some other options as we as we move forward. But for the underbarrel attachment, this is really personal preference. There's no straight up Zeneco underbarrel attachments. I think some of the closest ones you can get here is the uh, Bruin Tilt Grip, which is going to be good for hip fire accuracy. Um, I've been going with the Backdraft Grip. Just for some reason, this looks um, more Zeneco like to me for whatever reason. But uh, this is a pretty good grip. Going to give you the hip fire accuracy, hip recoil control. Aim walking steadiness and the recoil steadiness with the cons being hip walking speed and aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select the backdraft grip. Ammunition, we're going to leave blank. You obviously have your typical rifle options here. For the magazine option, we come with a base of 30 rounds of the 545 by 39. We have a 20 round magazine option and a 45 round magazine option, which is really nice with that Bakalite magazine. So we'll go ahead and leave the base 30 for this one. Rear grip, uh, we'll skip that for now. Now for the stock option, we're going to go ahead and go with that Zeneco stock. It's going give, to give us the crouch movement speed, sprint to fire speed, and the aim down sight speed with the cons being the recoil control. Now the Zeneco stock here in game is uh, named the the Markiev R7 stock. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then for the optic here, you obviously have your Russian optics that you could go with. Something like the Cobra or the OK OKP7. But we're going to just go with the holog typical holographic sight. Um, Russia produces a very similar model for uh, their weapons as well. So basically kind of a knockoff of the e the American EOTech. So we'll select that. These are our five attachments for the one build here of the AKS 74UM. M for modernize. And we have a bunch of our Zeneco attachments on this. Now this is a really nice build. Now, the buttstock here is a Zeneca buttstock. I believe it's the PRS. I'm not, I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but uh, we covered it in the AK-105 or the AK-74M uh, video. So, Zeneca buttstock, Zeneca handguard, Zeneca grip, PBS-4 suppressor. Now, uh, we do have the, for the AKS-74U, keeping true, we do have that uh, side dovetail mount, which mounts the optic. Um, so, we have the mounted rail system, and then we put the optic on there which is really cool to see um now some other things here if you wanted to build this up a little bit differently you could select a different muzzle device something like the uh this one here the crown 50 going to give you horizontal and vertical control with the cons being ads speed and aim and stability and then you could also um swap out maybe the buttstock if you wanted for something like a more modernized uh grip 
that they have here. Something like the uh, Ivanov ST70 grip gives you kind of a more modernized U.S. Palm pistol grip looking uh, aesthetics to it here. So you can definitely go with that as an option as well instead of the buttstock. So there's a lot of options here. So for this one, we'll go with similar to the build you're going to see in the gameplay here. The only difference is I don't have this buttstock unlocked yet in multiplayer. So I swapped it out and was running the uh, Ollie V laser uh, for this one. So that's the only difference you're going to see in the gameplay. But this build right here is a really nice build. Again, you have the charger handle on the right-hand side as well as the select fire. You have the um, standard AK uh, magazine release there on the bottom underneath the trigger guard. And then you have the dovetail mounted optic there on the right hand side as well so beautiful weapon um charge your handle and ejection port right there so really nice compact weapon go ahead and let's go ahead and take this thing into the uh firing range and just take a look at how it handles so here is our aks 74 um the m being the modernized version of the aks 74u assuming it wants to load and here we go nope okay well for some reason, it seems my game always just wants to freak out whenever I'm doing these videos. I don't know. Not really sure what it is, but let's, let's go ahead and we'll jump back in. This really only happens whenever I'm recording. So here we go. The AKS 74 UM with the Zeneco attachments looking really, really nice. And they have the right iron sights on it this time around, too. Not only is it in the assault rifle category, finally, but they have the correct iron sights, which is really good. So let this thing rip here. You can see very accurate. Uh, good rate of fire, and this thing is actually, uh, dare I say, almost as accurate, if not more accurate, as the 105. So, a really nice build, very easy to get shots on target, nice slow rate of fire with the AKs have, and again, very accurate, and uh, fairly just straight vertical recoil control here too, so very easy to control the recoil. Let's take a look at the recoil control here, not controlling it. So it's going to go straight vertical with a little uh, tilt to the right-hand side. Let's try and control it here. So there you go. Pretty much all center mass shots. Beautiful. And you see the recoil control is straight vertical for the first uh, seven shots. And then it's going to start tilting to the, uh, to the right a little bit. So not too bad. Again, beautiful. Easy to get shots on target down range. You can even burst it in like six or seven shots and make sure you keep it on target. And you have that beautiful Iraqi reload. Same with the AK-105 here in the game as well. So that's our AKS-74UM. Now, go ahead and jump into the gameplay here. You'll see this on the uh, the racetrack the racetrack mission there, whichever one that's called. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, just using this. Had a really good start to this. Unfortunately, I wasn't using the ammo box, and I ran out of ammo. Uh, probably could have had a chopper gunner right off the bat, but ran out of ammo, running around with a Glock, and it just, unfortunately, the enemy's calling UAVs, and... Uh, it just didn't work out well because I couldn't get any ammo, so I stuck with my Glock 18. But had a really good start here. Um, ended up having a pretty good game here in multiplayer. Uh, again, just a really easy to use gun, and because it's short and compact, it's assault rifle caliber and hits like an assault rifle, but it's compact like a submachine gun, which is the whole purpose of this weapon um, in real life. So the AK 74U was originally designed really for like uh, paratroopers, tank crews, helicopter crews. Things like that. They needed something short and compact. So the, the need was basically for an assault rifle uh, carbine, essentially. So a very short barrel rifle caliber weapon to kind of bridge that gap between submachine gun and the standard assault rifle, uh, which at the time was going to be the AKS-74. They were just uh, transitioning from the AKM, which is the larger pattern AK rifle firing 7.62 by uh, uh, 39 millimeter, And they were transitioning to the AK-74 firing the same caliber as this being the 545 by 39 millimeters so they needed something for those tank crews paratroopers something that was lower profile wasn't full length like a, a, a typical rifle um, that was more compact and again mainly was designed for tank crews special forces paratroopers um, things like that helicopter crews so nice short compact design now the uh, it's been in service since 1979 the design period and competitions kind of come up with this concept of a rifle started in 1973 so it is a carbine slash assault rifle developed in the soviet union uh now just simply russia um and been used in wars ever since all over the world so the designer is mikhail kalashnikov from the question of golf concern the design period was in the 1970s the manufacturer was tula arms which i believe is now merged with the kalashnikov concern 
uh, produced 1979 through 1993. The mass of this weapon overall is going to be 2.7 kilograms or 6 pounds. And the length overall um, with the stock extended, meaning we're talking the, the skeleton buttstock that comes with this thing at base, it's going to be 19.3 inches, or excuse me, 28.7 inches. And with it folded, would be 19.3. Now, with the Zenico stock that we have on this weapon, that also not only um, is a telescopic stock, so it adjusts, but it also side folds as well with that Zenico butt stock, which is so you can have various different lengths overall for the weapon. But having a 19, 19 inch weapon like that, uh, very short and compact, which is what the purpose of this weapon originally was. Now, the barrel length is going to be 8.1 inches or 206.5 millimeters. Cartridge, as we said, is the 545 by 39 millimeter. Um, Russian uh, new assault, r assault rifle round for the AK-74, which replaced the AKM in 7.62 by 39 millimeter. So this is really um, kind of the Russian equivalent, and some would say even better than the 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO round that the M4 fires. The action for this weapon is going to be a gas-operated rotating bolt, and the rate of fire is going to come in at a uh, cyclic rate of 650 to 735 rounds per minute. Now, the muzzle velocity is going to be 735 meters per second or 2,411 feet per second with the effective firing range being 300 to 400 meters or 330 to 440 yards. And the feed system for this, just like we looked at here in the game, is going to be that 20 or the 30 round magazine. It also can accept because it is uh, later on they came up with uh, different magazines design. We have the 45 round Bacolite magazine, a 60 round quad stack magazine. And uh, it could also, I'm assuming, uh, um, probably accept the drums for the uh, RPK-74 or things like that because they all fire the same caliber. So the Magwell and everything like that is going to be the exact same. So it can take a variety of different magazine options. The sights are going to be adjustable iron sights um, with that front post view that we see. So they did get the, the iron sights right on this. They're, they're up more towards the handguard instead of that, the rear of the weapon, which they typically were in previous Call of Duty games. Um... So that's good to see. And again, being in the assault rifle category is really good as well. So technically here in the gameplay, we're, we're really rocking an AKS-74 UMB, the B being for suppressed, but AKS-74 UM, modernized version of the AKS-74 U, just a great weapon overall. We'll cover the, the bare, bare bones original one sometime down the road, but I wanted to cover this this Zenico AKS-74 UM just because it's a great looking weapon. I was really happy they added this. I remember I saw this in the the uh, original gameplay before the beta where they had the Call of Duty Next event and you could see the default Zeneca build that they had for the, the one class with this weapon, which was just great to see. So, beautiful weapon. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this weapon down below. Have you used this? Have you unlocked all the attachments? Again, you got to unlock the cast of 762 and then progress that to the 545 and then the 74U to get this thing unlocked. And it does have some really nice attachments. So, Really good weapon, been using it a lot in DMZ as well, and it's a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts down below. I do have all my social media links down below as well as Twitch, Discord. Go ahead and check those out. We have a really good community over on Discord. If you guys are looking for people to play with, things like that, we have a lot of folks in there that are very, very active. Um, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out those smaller channels like myself. Really appreciate the support over the couple, past couple years, and it's good to be doing modern weapon conversions again. Finally, so let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the AKS 74UM. Till next time, Buffner Gaming out.